Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Wendy Devereaux here. I've had a few people ask me to do a beach theme and that's what I am making today in gold, silver, and white. If you'd like to see how I made this, then please keep watching. So for today's DIY, I'm going to be doing a beach theme and I'm going to be doing it in gold and silver. I've seen lots of them out there in the traditional colors, but I thought it would be really neat to try something different with gold and silver. I'm going to be bringing up my um, some of my shells in gold and silver and using some bling wrap for those. I will leave a complete list of all the items that I end up using in my description box and I will point them out as I'm applying them on my canvas because I'd like to just get started in on this project. There is one thing, I've got a little round gold ring here and you'll have to wait and see what I end up doing with that later on in the video. And I'm going to be using a round, it's almost a 20 inch diameter uh, sized canvas. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is paint my whole canvas in gold. I'm going to be adding white and I'm going to be adding it with my uh, Tri-Art liquid glass actually. I'm going to be using it as a pouring medium and I'm going to kind of wiggle it around something like so, but I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be applying it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint my whole canvas in gold and then I don't have to worry about it. And I'm using a light gold metallic Craftsmart. And I've had this, <laughs> I've had this jar for quite a while too. I'm, I'm trying to use up um, some of my paints that have been open for a while. I'm just spraying my canvas lightly with some water and my brush as well. And I'm most likely going to need two or three coats of the gold. Okay, I'm going to let that coat dry and then I will most likely put on another two coats and then let the whole thing completely dry and then I will bring you back. Okay, so now I want to bling up my shells and I bought these shells at Michael's. They just come in a bag like this. I'm going to be painting some silver and some gold and then I'm going to keep some just in the natural color. I have all of my silvers here. Some are older paints and I just want to use them up and my gold. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with my gold. And I'm going to pick this shell. I'm just going to paint a few on camera just to give you an idea. And then um, I will continue on off camera, okay? I'm just going to add a little bit. This is the light gold. It's the same gold as my canvas. And I'm most likely going to need a couple of coats. And I'll grab one of these little Jaspers. Now I have some champagne gold. 
I've used this gold before in some of my paintings and I love it. It, it has this sparkle to it. It's very, very pretty. And I think I'm going to paint this darker one in the gold. Okay, I'll move those aside. Now I'm going to paint some of my silver ones. This kind of has a bluish gray tinge to it so this will be one that I paint in silver and I've got some Liquitex silver not a whole bunch <clears throat> not a whole bunch in there I think that's going to be plenty Okay, now I'm going to paint a couple of these in white pearl. It's just going to give them a nice metallic shimmery color. I'm going to adhere a lot of this stuff with my Elmer's clear glue. I'm just going to do a few on camera. I'm going to take one of these and I'm just going to add a little bit of Elmer's clear glue in here. And I'm just going to add some of my gold crushed glass in here. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm just going to set that one aside. And then I want to take one of these gold, I think they're oyster shells. Just going to add some glue on here. Okay, I'm just going to take a small craft, I'm just going to take a small brush here. Okay, I'm going to take some of this. Just gonna add just a little bit of my white glitter. Okay, we'll set that one aside to dry. Okay, there's one more that I want to do on camera and then I will do the rest of them off camera. But I'm going to be using this little gold shell and this is a little embellishment that I got from totallydazzled.com and there's just a little um, a little doomahickey here that I'm going to cut off. Good 
Yep, just flew. And I'm going to use my bling wrap, my rhinestone self-adhesive bling wrap. It has a very sticky backing. I'm just going to cut some rows. Oh, that is looking so pretty. Okay, and now I want to add my little starfish on top like that. I'm going to use some E6000 for that. I'm just going to add some in the middle here. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Okay, and I'm going to set that one to dry. Okay, so I will finish embellishing the seashells that I want to embellish, and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I have three coats of the gold on my canvas, and I have my seashells all blinged up. They're looking so pretty. And my next step is to add my um, liquid glass as a pouring medium down my canvas. And I've just taped off the side. I don't want any of the uh, liquid glass to go down on the side. And if it does, then I can just pull off the tape. So the next step that I need to do is mix my liquid glass. I'm using it as a pouring medium, which is what it is. So I've got some little cups here. I've got my Triart liquid glass. I'm not 100% sure how much I'm going to need for the white. That'll be good. Okay, I'm just going to add some of my white paint in here. And the gold. This is the light gold. This is the silver that I used. And this is a rich espresso. It's metallic deco art. I'm going to mix some of this up just to give it a little depth. Okay, so now before I pour my liquid glass on here, I want to get some of these shells ready 
um, some of the big ones that I'm going to be adding right into the liquid glass. And then they'll dry nicely inside with the liquid glass. Okay, and then when this is all dry, I will be uh, hot gluing some others on top of the other ones. Okay, and these are some broken shells. It's also a filler glass from Michaels. I've used this before. And my gold um, crush glass. So now I'm going, I want to wiggle down. I'm probably going to start... Something like that. I want to keep away from my edges for the moment. I'm going to need some more. Just gonna take this spreader There's a few little bubbles in here. Okay, and I'm gonna take my silver. Drizzle some down here. Some of my gold. And some of this brown espresso. I'm just going to take a straw And now I'm going to place some of my shells And I'm going to take some of, I'll take some of my crushed glass here. Some of my shell, my broken shells. Okay, 
thing. I just want to do my liquid glass to the edge here. Okay, so after about 30 minutes, when I know that my liquid glass isn't moving anymore, like it's not falling off, I'm going to pull my tape off. Okay, so this is all dry and it is absolutely beautiful. I love this. And um, I decided to add a little bit more of the liquid glass with my white paint. To bring it over here and then I stuck this shell on there. I did that off camera. And these are on here very, very snug. And the only thing I didn't see, I must have dropped a couple of the uh, crushed shells in here. And because it was so thick, it didn't show up until this completely dried. But I'm okay with that. So the next step that I want to do is add the rest of my shells and my little hoop. I'm going to be putting it up there and you'll see what I'm going to be doing with that in a minute. So I've got some Gorilla Glue in my hot glue gun here. And oh, I just, I absolutely love this one. I want to put him over here. These are the shells that I kind of wanted them. I didn't want them on the, um, in here, like in this part here, I wanted them kind of to be sitting on there. Maybe something like that. I want it sitting up. I'm just gonna lay that down for a second. And I want these ones Kind of like that. And I want to put a silver one over here. And then I want a starfish. And this starfish is just the natural. I didn't want to paint it. Okay, so I'm just going to see where this one will touch on my canvas. I'm going to put this one like this instead. There, see? Oh, this is so much fun to do. Just, oh, I absolutely love doing this. Okay, and remember that little ring? I'm not going to bother painting it because it is really close to the gold. But I want to spruce it up a little bit. And I have another one of these little starfish gems from totallydazzle.com. And I have some of my broken shells. And I've got some E6000 here. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little hot glue here.
there. I thought I was going to use some E6000, but I didn't bother. I was okay with just using my hot glue gun. My ring, I want the top here, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on the top. I won't be able to, I have to stand it up so you won't be able to see me anyway doing that. And then once all that's done, I will display it on the wall for you. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I am so pleased with the way this turned out. Oh, this is so pretty and it was so much fun to do. Glamming up all of those seashells. I'll just bring you in nice and close. I just added an extra little um, totallydazzle.com blingy one there on that starfish. And the liquid glass with the paint and I made it nice and thick and I wanted it to look like, you know, when you're at the ocean and on the beach, it's that kind of a foamy look. And this turned out beautifully. And some little bubbles came up in the middle of the night in my silver and around my gold, but I'm okay with that. It just adds, it adds to it. Absolutely beautiful. And then my little ring on the top, I couldn't dangle it on the top. It was just too, um, it was just too dangly. It wouldn't glue on there. So I ended up gluing it on, as you can see, like, you know, on top of the canvas. So then I added some more bling wrap to it and a couple more um, little starfish. And I just, because I wanted to add, here, I'm going to bring you back. I just wanted to add something on the top. Oh, this is so pretty. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It feeds the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.